When I see patients in my office with a bicuspid aortic valve, it's usually for one of two reasons. The valve is regurgitant or leaky, or the valve is predominantly stenotic or narrowed and blood flow can't get across it. We don't always operate on dysfunctional bicuspid aortic valves because the heart is an amazing structure that can compensate for a bad valve for a really long time before you need something done. So when patients meet a surgeon, their valve disease has often got to a severe state of dysfunction. When a bicuspid aortic valve is predominantly leaky or insufficient, we can usually repair that valve. What we see in a bicuspid valve that leaks is that the two leaflets that make up that leaky valve are not symmetric. And so when it closes, it doesn't seal together nicely. The repair we do adjusts those leaflets so that they do seal. When a valve is stenotic, it's because it's degenerated and gotten thickened, developed calcium on it, and it doesn't open very well. Unfortunately, the valve cusp tissue itself has been so destroyed by that disease process that those valves often have to be replaced and cannot be repaired durably. Either way, we do these operations very safely and can often approach it through a minimally invasive incision, a small incision in the chest.